morning, everyone. This is Elaine from Annabella's. Welcome back to Cross Stitch School lesson number six. I'm very happy that you're here. Thank you so much for giving me an extra day. I've been under the weather and I know this is coming to you a day late, but I appreciate you turn, tuning in. Today is the final lesson in Cross Stitch School and I'm going to be sharing with you three easy ways to finish your piece. Now, these are very simple to do. It doesn't require anything fancy. And once you're comfortable finishing your pieces in any one of the three ways I'm gonna show you, I then encourage you to come back to this channel as Annabella's begins to share different ways to make finishing fun. These are gonna be video tutorials that are going to teach you how to add trim, how to create ornaments, how to fancy up your pillow, how to use wooden die cuts and frames and bows and all kinds of other items to help you display or gift your finished work. So today, what I want to share with you is how I finished my design uh, of home. I just wanted to display this in my Henden, so I went to Amazon and I just bought this frame. And what I like about it is that it does include a mat. So if you're very careful about how you place your finished piece within this frame using this mat, um, you know, you can go ahead and frame it with a mat. Now, there's lots of ways to use um, picture frames to display your work. This was something very popular back in the 80s. Uh, it's kind of making a comeback now because um, there's new things like museum glass, which removes some of the glare uh, from, your, from your finished piece when it's framed. Um, so if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to insert some examples of other folks who have framed their work just so that you can get some ideas as to what that will look like. Now, the second way you can finish your piece that we stitched in cross stitch school, um, it's not this chart, that's the chart, um, is by just making a very simple pillow. Now, you don't have to be experienced to create a pillow. I have two tutorials on my blog, the link is below, um, and I'll also um, list um, below some videos that I personally recommend um, for other uh, floss tubers that do videos like Vana, for example, from the Twisted Stitcher. So so that you can see how um, she does hers using her video tutorials. You can go ahead and watch those. So I'm gonna list Vonda below, and then I'm also gonna list uh, my blog where you can find two written tutorials on finishing your um, piece into a pillow. Just very, very simple, and as I said, you don't have to be experienced. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to insert some additional photos so that you can see examples of how other folks turned their pieces into pillows. And then last, your third way that you can try to finish your piece from Cross Stitch School is to place your finished uh, piece into a hoop. Um, so today I did a blog post. Um, you can go to the blog and it is going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to take this piece, put it in a hoop, and display it. Now the um, tutorial um, I actually found uh, from another blogger, so I do reference them at the very bottom, um, but I thought it was just a really, really great way to share with you um, a step-by-step -step approach to turning your finished piece um, in, you know, using a hoop to then display your finished piece. So I do hope that you're going to try one of these three ways. I hope that you will then be sure to go to our Facebook group and please share with everyone how you finished your design, whether it is in a frame, whether you choose to make a pillow, whether you put it in a hoop, or maybe you're going to try something different. And I do hope that, as I said, you will subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell, so that when we do begin publishing our Make Finishing Fun Cross Stitch series, you can tune back in. Until then, be happy, be well, and most of all, be kind.